I'm about to get railed by two guys, which is something I do quite often, if I'm what? honest with myself. And while I'm waiting for them to get here, I was just thinking, I'm on pace to hit 365 bodies in 365 days. And hey, you're proud? Disgusting. And you look like you probably put a spell on them after, too. You nasty. And last year, I was excited when I hit 300 in a year. But then this leaves me to think, what am I going to do next year? My goodness, he put a thousand bodies in three years. This is a 94 Chevy Impala with 165,000 miles. Your coochie needs an oil change. 500? 600? I'm an ambitious woman. I need to make sure that I'm always striving for greatness. I need to be chasing bigger and better numbers and always surpassing my limits. Bro, most of us are on pace to hit zero bodies in 365 days. Talk about a walking disease. Just imagine being this girl's father. Sorry. <laughs> a lot of these girls have lost their marbles and it's all because of the internet. Hola. Qual is the number? Hola. Qual is the number? Marky. Um, Marky. You got what's up? Yeah. Oh, she was definitely sucking for $50. For sure. For sure. There's one risk. She might be a trainee, but you don't know. Where are you from? Uh, Americano. Okay. Americano. Dang, bro. She might kill you, actually. Okay. Text me. Sheesh. Mm. Homie's about to get robbed and wake up with no kidneys. Wait for it. <laughs> hey. Ooh, oh. oh hell no! Oh. <laughs> here's here's the reality, we right? Have, We're yeah. talking about chivalry, right? That's the ultimate form of chivalry, the ultimate form of masculinity, the ultimate form of being a traditional man. Sacrifice. All that shit, Sacrifice. right? Yeah. Are you, are modern women, deserving of the ultimate? chivalry the ultimate sacrifice That's on the men's part laying down his life y'all are modern women and you want a man to f die for you but you can i can't tell if she's 40 or 25. what do you guys think playing about cooking for him doing the laundry doing all this shit uh, the f bro but I you want a man to lay down his life for you who's entitled to chivalry and gentlemanly treatment ladies correct mm -hmm. Are modern women with their OnlyFans and their promiscuity and their lack of modesty and their sex work and their okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus body <laughs> counts deserving of a man to lay down dollars. his life? Some of these girls Hell. aren't deserving of your life, your time, your interests, and not even your $5 subscription. You can Word. tell that Brian's on the breaking point of dealing with stupidity. If all I gotta do is pay $5 to see a pussy, I don't wanna see it in real life. I really don't. It's five bucks. Save myself the disease, at least. Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way through the parking lot. Wow. Hey. <laughs> of course we wear all black. We're Persian. Somehow all our dads are the number one soccer player in Iran. We're Persian. Of course we'll judge you. We're Persian. Of course our first car was a Mercedes Benz. We know Mercedes you're Persian Benz. by your nose. Thank you very much. Chill, chill, and chill. of course you're a four that acts like a nine. And of course you're Persian because it's probably hairy. And gentlemen, avoid these types of women at all costs. Did he say it's probably hairy? Now gentlemen, this is the type of girl you want to date. Her personality is so attractive. You're so beautiful. You're beautiful. Really? Wow. I appreciate that. Content. Yeah, I love that. What's your name? My name's Brenda. What's your name? Cameron. What are you doing, Cam? I'm just skating. Why? Why aren't Why you at work? Well, I'm talking to you now, oh, okay. which is much now. better than working. You clock in. Bro, I wish I was this social, bro. Today I went up to the gas station clerk. I paid for my stuff. I said thank you. She was like, "You're welcome," and I said, "You too." I'm never going back to that gas station again. I'm gonna make you my girlfriend. <laughs> what are you up to? Are those those interesting glasses? Yeah, you can talk on the phone. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, well, are you from around here? I am. Here, give me your number. True. Where are you from, Brenda? Um, I live. What country has the best food in the world? Oh, she's one of those LGB plus, whatever. I'm gonna have to say England. No, it's not England. That's a good guess, though. It's a, it's opinions based. No, there are some stats that actually come out that's yeah. Yeah, it's still opinions based. Some people have more popular opinions than others. So your opinion is England? Yes. Final answer. Mm -hmm. What's good in England? Everything. 
Give me one. Everything. Popcorn. Out of 193 countries, she chose England and she picked popcorn. That <laughs> eyeliner tells me everything I need to know. Oh. That ruins the whole thing, to be honest. You could be the prettiest girl in the world. If you stink, you go down to a 2 out of 10. Night a 1 out of 10. I don't even want to see you no more. Get away from me. If NASA says it's too hot to go to the sun, then why don't we go at night when the sun turns off? Here's a twist. It'll be cold. Isn't that concerning? Bro, this b these are the type of people that go to college and go $200,000 in debt to major in something called the study of Athens and equality for all. Serious question. Is knowledge banned in America? Your wife has been f before you, so what does it matter? Yeah, so what? Do then. I go and let other men f my wife on purpose? No! You, might you get, do that. You might get you it up, man. You let other men. You let <laughs> you other men. You might get it up. Bro, his fake teeth are bothering me. If you're going to get veneers, because some people have to, because their teeth are just bad. Why would you get it that fake pasty color, bro? Your teeth should not be looking that white. You look you look ridiculous. Stick their junk in your chick's mouth and then you uh, kiss her the next day, bro. Yeah? yeah. She loves it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And you think that that's equatable to the fact that my wife wasn't a virgin when we got married? Yeah. I wasn't a virgin either. Beta! Just want a man that makes at least $50,000 a year, drives okay. Toyota or Honda is fine, um, okay. Dates maybe once a month. It's all I want. That's normal. That's like an average middle class person. Fifty thousand dollars a year is you getting paid two hundred dollars a day at your job. If you work any type of trade like construction, plumbing, electrical, you can accomplish that very easily. Movies, it's okay. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find a man. You know what's wrong with you ladies? You guys want to date Superman. But you constantly walk past Clark Kent every single day. I guarantee you, this girl, she walks by this type of guy probably a million times every day. And when he- That's true, I didn't even think about that. She's saying that's what she wants to get attention on the internet, but that's not really what she wants. She's gonna attract someone that's worth more, has a higher net worth because he thinks that this is what she actually wants. He thinks that she's humble. Smart lady. Reads her, she probably just ignores him. She needs to stop the cap. Andrew Tate, let these girls know. Bitch, put that burk on and shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're fat girls. We eat what we want, when we want to. We're fat girls. Of course we're going to ask for a table instead of a booth. We're fat girls. Of course I ordered enough to have leftovers. Damn. We're fat girls. Of course I'm learning to honor my hunger cues. Damn, you're so fat. Your face wasn't even in frame. How do you get a friend group full of fat people? How's that possible? We're fat girls. Of course we save some for later. We're fat girls. Of course we take up space. Sorry, not sorry. We're fat girls. Of course we're unlearning generational fat phobia. We're fat girls. We're worthy exactly as we are. Diabetes, heart disease, and cholesterol has entered the chat. I blame Lizzo, a fat ass. Bro, one of these tortas didn't even fit on my screen. I have a question. How are we breathing in cars? Because, like, there's no air holes in a car. And, like, you shut your doors. So, like, how does the oxygen, like, get in? And there's, like, no law to, like, open your window every five minutes. So, like, how do you breathe in a car? Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. There really is no such a thing as a whole face. You can't be a serial killer for five years and then just be like, oh, I'm not a murderer anymore. I had a spiritual enlightening experience. I'm a good person now. No. Meanwhile. You know. We're wrong. We need the will of God. How do you think a guy can do? Um, I'm not really into nice guys because I look boys so i can't really think of anything nice that they can do <laughs> my lucky day hell yeah i'm just joking all right and what's the worst thing a guy can do i guess be nice be nice because sometimes if you're too nice it gives like oh it's like the ick really you know because it's like mm, why are you so nice do you like when guys like degrade you type shit? is that what you like not degrade me but like you know because i feel like 
if a guy is nice, that means he gets no girls, and that's like a turn off. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. But then I'm on social media, like I want a guy that gets no bitches, but like that's just not true. So. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this girl is the perfect embodiment of what is everything wrong with the modern woman. That's a big one right there. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, baby, your coochie's showing. <laughs> Found this video from a year ago when I was trying on shoes for prom. What the? What the? Oh, you was trying to get lucky. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody deserves a good laugh, so why not come laugh with me? Oh, she likes him. Runner. Hi, Runner. Hi. He's deaf. <gasps> He's deaf and she's high. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's diabolical. And to your grandma? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. No fries. What are you doing? <laughs> you big back ass, you was looking for fries? Oh my god! <laughs> Tech brother. <laughs> As you get them shorts, it's way too tight for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to kill your ass. This is Jackie Chan right here. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna grow up and terrorize you. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? Which one of you guys would do that to your girlfriends? To be honest, if you gave me like fifty dollars, I might do it. Yeah. <laughs> fire. <laughs> yeah, you could tell she don't have no home training. Her mom never taught her how to cook. This is her first time ever being in the kitchen. You could tell. Okay. Can you make a noise, contestant number three, that you think represents how you would make a noise when you got spanked? Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, sure. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and do contestant number one now, since we're doing this new bit. What the fuck? Oh, there is no way! There's no way! You need a job. No, I don't want a job! Well, I know. There's so much work. No wonder why some animals eat their young. I didn't fully understand that until I came across this. She definitely will turn to OF in the future. Oh. And it's crazy that these types of girls don't want to work, but demand a guy like this. The kind of guys you would date, not even ideal, the kind of guys you would date, what percent of America do you think they'd be? Ooh, 0.2? 0.2 percent of America would be the kind of guys you date? Yes, yes. All right, can we put that to the test? Sure. Does the guy want kids? Yes. All right, yes. What is the minimum age you would go? 22. What is the oldest you would go? 28. 28. All right, what is your minimum height? 6'2". I'll see it right. Come on, bro. You want a basketball player. You're done already. All right, that's what, that's what gets him every time, right there. What is the maximum height? 6'4". 6'4". Six, 6'4". Four. Six, four. Oh, so, right. What the hell? Small range. Six, yeah. Range. She's literally just like, like all right. You got to be like literally this exact guy I'm thinking of. Exactly this height, exactly this right. age. Yep, yep. All right, minimum income. For a year, 65. 60, okay, that's, that's, like that. that's rational. That's the rest is, cr you're crazy, but the yeah. And I'm, can he smoke or no? Either? Not either, yeah. Can he drink or no? Yes. 
Either? Yeah. Um, I'm guessing we're excluding married men. Would, would you date a married guy? No. 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 And obese guys? Oh, would you say? Ob would, could you date an obese man or no? Probably not. Damn it. All right. Excluding <laughs> <laughs> obese, yes. All right, let's find out. Your percent of guys are? She said 0.2% of the guys looking for it. Yeah. Can you read this to the camera? 0 0.024. 0 0.02%. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's one tenth, one tenth wow. of what she expected. How wow. crazy is that? So there's only, in America, there's only 39,595 guys who meet your description. Bro, 65K a year is 5.5K a month. That is literally impossible for a guy in his 20s. Now, if you guys want to become billionaires, nah, bro. Go into a trade. Do any type of construction, electrical, HVAC, plumbing. I know in New York, brand new, like construction workers, like you don't know the trade too well, you're getting paid 150. Somebody with a little bit more experience, 200. Somebody with like three, four years of experience, you can't pay $250, $300 a day. I promise you, in New York at least. I don't know about everywhere else in the world, but New York for sure. Start investing in cat food because there's going to be a lot of future cat lady like this girl. And it's crazy that these types of girls will be making all these demands, but would date guys like this. So I usually stay up to around 3 a.m. playing the game and then I go to bed my girlfriend wakes up around 5 a.m. and then she leaves for work around 6 a.m. She comes back to work around 10 a.m. for her lunch and she usually makes me breakfast on her lunch, but today she brought me McDonald's, so I wasn't complaining. And then after this, she had to go back to work. Now I just ate my breakfast and then I decided to play the game for a little bit. I forgot my girlfriend asked me to sweep the patio before she got home, so I had to make sure to get that done real quick. Then I took our dog on a walk around the block real quick, and then I got home and decided to relax and watch some TV. Bro, this is disgusting. You're a grown man, and you have all this time? Start a hustle, man. Do YouTube. Flip some cars. Do something. Flip furniture. Get out there. Do something. Or get a job. But you have all this free time. My girlfriend usually comes home around 2.30 and today she had a surprise for me when she got home. Guess what? I got you a Red Bull. Really? Take a pay for tonight. Play your game. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. I think I got you. You did? I got you. Let me taste it. Let me see. Yeah. Let me taste it. Wow, it looks good. You like? Yeah, good job, man. I'm hungry. You're hungry? You order pizza? You want pizza? At this point, we just ate pizza and watched our show while my girlfriend and I did from work. This man is a true feminist at heart. He has gender equality <laughs> on lock. <laughs> he set the bar so low that his girl is actually proud of him when he sweeps the patio. <laughs> Even his voice just sounds lazy and lethargic. I just know that her parents absolutely hates this guy. Word. I was talking to this guy and he was like, I travel for work and I found out he's a DoorDash driver. So no, what? No, dude, that's not, no. No. What? Oh my god. That is insane. There's women out there that will walk away from a good man. Tell me, oh, he wanted to go half on rent. He wanted to go half on Facts. Like, you know how fatuous and inane that is to say he wanted to go half? First of all, you are responsible for 100% of your life as an adult. 100% of your problems, 100% of your bills, 100% of your stress. And you mean to tell me you had a man right there like, I'll take half of that from you. <laughs> and you was like, that ain't good enough. Man. I want you to take it all. I don't want to have no responsibility as an adult. And that is financial abuse. And that is feminine manipulation and abuse. You know, the only time a woman will go 50-50 with you is when she divorces you and take half your shit. Yeah, that's fucked up. But I feel like people are getting into these situations without talking to people first, right? You should already know what type of girl you're dealing with before she moves in with you. So you guys should be on the same page. And the page you should be on is growing together, no matter how that looks like.
right? It's recently gotten lost in translation, right? If you as a man don't got it like that, but you're working, maybe you're making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. Maybe your girlfriend's working, she's making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. You guys should be putting your money together and work on growing together because separately is not enough. But if you guys can cover your lifestyle with one paycheck and with the other paycheck, just invest. Be it however you know how to invest. Maybe you know how to buy cars, fix them up, and sell them. Maybe you know how to buy houses, fix them up, and sell them. Maybe you don't know nothing. You just want to invest in the ETF and the stock market. Whatever investing looks like to you. You should do that. And if you guys stick together and you do it for 20, 30 years, you guys will be millionaires. But you got to work together as a team. So you have to know who you're dealing with before you start dealing with them. You know, paying for everything does not buy a woman's true desire or will keep her loyal to you because she will still leave and cheat on you because you work too much. Only if more women were like this girl right here. I, I love to see him eating a meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Like every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but that's like, I just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. But I find joy in being your rest. And it shouldn't be conditional. Meanwhile, you were just telling me that you have a wife for two years. Yeah. You have two kids. Yeah. And where are you from? Long Island. All right. So while you're in Nashville visiting from Long Island, your girlfriend's back home, right? Yeah. Do you ever think while you're gone on this beautiful trip, she'd be cheating on you? I mean, not really. I'm going to be honest. What if I were to say I have an AI that searches any dating website with just a face photo? Would you want to use it? I mean, might as well, right? All right, all right. What's her name? Her name is Olivia. All right. What's her age? 23. Okay. Okay. And then where is she from? Long Island. Long Island. Can you pull out your phone and uh, show me a picture so I can take it and see if it recognizes her? All right. While the AI is loading her facial recognition, I'm two kids together, you said? Yeah. Do you ever think she would ever be on any day of saying? No, I trust her. It came back with the match. Is this her? Yeah, that's her. And it says she has Tinder premium. Damn, what the f? <laughs> that's your kid on the phone? Yeah, that's Jason. Wow. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Bro, are you okay? Sad. It's the evil world. I hate to say this, but this guy just ruined this man's whole trip, but he saved his whole damn life. Exactly. He needs to divorce her and get a DNA test immediately. Yes, you, uh, you would never cheat on him? Never. Huh? Wait, what'd you ask? You would you ever cheat on him? Yeah, I would, but he wouldn't. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. That had to be a man, right? Lady at Home Depot bought a plastic box to keep her hair from the rain. Oh. The one time I had a guy. They have umbrellas at Home Depot. Give me one margarita, I'ma open my leg. Give me two margaritas, I'ma give you some hair. What? You heard her get her two margaritas. I'ma put it in my Hard to even find a single 37 year old woman And then when you do They have a tendency to fall into three categories They're either A, super career oriented I've always said that If you notice, like a lot of the doctor chicks They end up not getting married Because they're so career driven That it takes away from their family aspect Successful chick mm -hmm. So I'm out <laughs> Right Those girls are looking for a guy that owns a suit mm -hmm. I have a pair of slacks I don't know where they are <laughs> Second category Women single at my age are divorcees And those women are like Chernobyl They're beautiful But something bad happened <laughs> And now we all need to leave it alone For a few years <laughs> <laughs> and the last category of women single at my age are women that have been single the entire time because their therapist hasn't quite got their pill combo <laughs> locked down <laughs> and they still have episodes where they'll break into your apartment and set fire to kittens. <laughs> I don't even have kittens, man. She brought them. <laughs> you gotta stay away from therapists, I think. If you have something actually wrong with you, okay. But a lot of the times, they just prescribe you shit that makes everything worse and worse. Life is supposed to be hard, right? Relax. Take a chill pill. You're not gonna get it right every single time. 
You're gonna have bad times, you're gonna have good times. You gotta find peace within yourself. You need to understand how you're gonna overcome those moments by yourself. You don't need assistance from somebody else. Eyes matter. It depends. If it's less than like five, you know, it does matter. A good personality can't save that? Sometimes, you know, I've been with a four, but I fell asleep, so. <laughs> Wait, you fell asleep? Yes, I fell asleep during my <laughs> During the act. Yes, during the act, during That's the act. So <laughs> Is it in? This is my spot. This is public street parking. Yeah, well, get out. Nah, I'm good, thanks so. You know what, you are You are a real piece of crap. I like wow. In the Bronx, I lived in the Bronx for like 18 years. And in front of the apartment buildings, there was never parking. So sometimes people would like put cones there to block a parking spot or bags of trash there to block a parking spot. I've seen my fair share of arguments and fights over that. Like nice little pose. Yeah, oh, hold on. God, nice. I didn't see, I didn't look at you. Hold on. Damn. Hey, baby, you want to come with me? Yeah. Bro, these men are thirsty. Damn. I'd be damn I'd be disrespected like this. I really felt it, man. How are women allowed to drive? I want a big d yes. That's too damn bad. This is for YouTube, not for YouTube. What? I knows how to dress like a cowboy shit. Oh my who? I look fly. I look cool. I just want not to get cheated on. But if that doesn't work out, I just want a baby. What the fuck? You don't want a husband, you want yo bro, come on bro. Respect yourself a little bit. Show the boost! Oh, I want a baby daddy. Right. A baby daddy. No, you don't want one of those. Wait. Hold on. It's my boy's birthday. I'm rolling balls. <laughs> I want my girlfriend to propose to me. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, 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 oh. No. I party with the Mexicans before. They fun as hell. And this looks like a dangerous party. You're saying that you wouldn't be with a single mother that's a millionaire? It wouldn't be my first option, no. If I wanted to have a family and children? You said a millionaire wouldn't want to be with a single mother that's a millionaire. If he can go ahead and get a girl that doesn't have a child, he'll prefer that, yes. Men are very different than women because when a guy comes into a woman's relationship or a relationship with a woman and she has a child, he's going to be expected to take care of that child to a degree. That's just how it is. You don't just get with that girl, you get with that girl and that child. And here's the other thing you got to remember. If we break up and I build a bond with that child, I now lose you and the child. And I can't have any type of parental rights to that child. It's your biological child, not mine. I'm a stepfather, so I have no rights to that child. So I lose you, the child, alimony, house, 50%. So it's an L for me. It's not worth the risk. I'm going to step up. The reality set in for her, and it sucks. You know, the decisions you've made led you to here. Well, if you're a girl and you're watching this, learn from her. Keep yourself sacred for that one man, get married, and have a wonderful life together. Be something together. The one time I had a guy in my butt, I just sat on the toilet and just kind of let it, like, come. Just let it come out. Oh. Just see, I'll spread a little bit. And that's fine. You can do that. Yeah, so you can let it just kind of drip out. But I kind of like, you, like I said, using the muscles for it to come out so that I know, like, it's all coming out. Because sometimes otherwise, like, the sphincter will kind of just keep some of it in there. And then, like, mm -hmm. then you go to sit down somewhere and, like, suddenly dripping out of your hole and you're just like, well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. I didn't need to know any of that shit. Patreon at the end if you want to pay for this fucking garbage. If you had to pick one position for the rest of your life, what would you pick? Reverse cowgirl. With some Luke Bryan playing? What are you I doing, hate country. Bro? Will you make a terrible cowgirl then? If your husband cheated on you, would you give him another shot? Maybe. Why would you? Because I made a vow to be with him through bad and good. And I feel like it's in men's DNA to like always be attracted to other women. So biologically, men and women look at sex differently. Right. Okay, so he can still love you and fuck another chick. It's possible. But if you step out, do you think he'd stay with you? No. Sex for women. She's smart. I like that. You're smart. Men is emotional. <laughs> it's not just sex. So like, for a woman to have sex with another man while being married, she's gone. Well, how rare is it to hear that out of a woman? And honestly, if I'm f***ing a guy for a one-night stand, if he doesn't come after, like, a minute, yeah. I'm Failed. 
after a minute, you sound mad congested. Is someone nut in your nose? Miserable at that point. Sucks because he's when he's flaccid, that shit sucks. Pretty much worthless. Yeah. Is there a reason why your titties were on me? Am I tripping or did this girl make no sense at all? All right, guys, today I'm going to show you a new shipfluencer technique. They're evolving. Jenny Cole, welcome to the show. So I'm gonna move quick because there's a lot to cover here. This is a photograph of Jenny Cole. When somebody sent this to me and they said, is this edited? I was like, I mean, I don't think so. Everything looks straight. That was, however, until I noticed what she's holding in her hand. Jenny's got a fork in her hand, but if you notice, it's clipped off. Now the fork isn't broken, but I figured out what she did because of this small error. So Facetune has a new feature that a lot of these shipfluencers are abusing. I'm gonna use this photo of me and my neighbor holding our dogs to demonstrate. So the gist of it is you can preserve a background and then edit everything in the foreground and pop it back to normal. Let's see. So first I'm gonna use the shape tool to fuck up my everything. And you notice all the lines are super wavy in the back. That window's crooked, it's fucked. This would be ripe for controversy. But then you scroll over to the backdrop feature. Now all you gotta do is just click the original photo, put it as the backdrop and everything goes back to normal. So what happened here was she did that, but it clipped out the fork because it was too close to what the background was. This is just a small technical error that showed us what the bigger picture was. This is particularly shameful for you, Jenny, because you're a personal trainer and you sell booty workouts. You've built a whole platform and edited photos. Oh. Was that fake? She made it fit. Isn't that a diesel pump? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. What's her Instagram for research purpose only though? That's him. Everybody look like you're gardening. Luke, grab that little hoe. Uh, <gasps> I, I don't... <laughs> wow. I can tell you that that man is not angry at his girl, just disappointed. Disappointed at the fact that his girl gives the gas nozzle more action than she does to him that's probably not true she looks like she wants it at least four times a day bro let's be honest here maybe five she loves kids love if all of you me. didn't give me pussy you didn't give me pussy i am a man i need it i need it that vr is dangerous step, step, off. Off. step back step, step to your right, right. Oh Lord have mercy. Why why did you guys give grandma VR, bro? Why? Now she got dementia and shit. She hit her head on the wall. You crazy? He needs some milk. Just a classic story of a man trying to give woman some advice. And of course, she refuses to listen. Doesn't that sound familiar? A driver is shocked at what he's seeing on the highway. What the heck is going on right here? Nah, bro, she's doing bad. She has the trunk open too. This person's sparking, all doors open right here. I cannot believe this guy's car is even going down the 405 freeway, but he's making it happen here on <laughs> one wheel, apparently. Rather Let's get it, brother. Situation happening here on the 405 tailgate open there's no tailgate party going on in sight but this guy is just letting it all hang loose right now it's a girl Front wheel is definitely out let's see what this person's smoking <laughs> Damn. What are you doing? Get off the road. look the lady inside just casually waves with those kind of sparks flying behind the vehicle this woman gives a whole new meaning to hot wheels you need to get out of the car. I, You're on drugs right now. You're no, on painkillers. There's so some, yes, the you car. are. Oh my god. You are on some drugs right now. Oh my god, absolutely. Put not. your car okay. in park. And legends have say nah, she's that not. this woman drove that car all the way home. Today, Jim Murray spoke to the guy who shot the video. He does he he looks like he does some drugs. He looks like he takes a little bump bump. Mm -hmm. Look at his hair. It's all spiked up. He looks like he got electrocuted. Chad Towersey, 
clearly something was wrong with this driver and she was putting a lot of people in harm's way. You tried to flag her down and it Why looked like she was just waving. I was honking the horn. I was looking at her, trying to get her attention. And she suddenly looks over at me like, you know, rest in peace, Queen of England. But she's just like in La La Land. Look, the lady inside just casually waves. Come on, bro. <laughs> the woman was identified as Erin Davis, who says she has an explanation for her erratic behavior. Are you having a hard day? Because yes, you can I kill just, people. You can I kill just people. Got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Uh. I'm sorry. The grace of this woman trying to avoid accountability is like watching a rhino attempting to do ballet but relax, relax. it's not that serious it's dangerous yes she could have hurt somebody yes but she got some bad news bro be a human excuse me ma'am i have a boyfriend i have a boyfriend he didn't relax. say nothing take it easy okay Word. that's great i just want to let you know that your tire's flat Get your fucking boyfriend to do it. Word. No, what I would have done is I would have helped to take the tire off, took the spare tire out from her trunk, and then put it in my trunk and drove away. So even when her boyfriend shows up, he can't fix it. To have say that that girl is still stuck there with a flat tire till this day. Yo, really? Like, seriously, this can't be my life, bro. Really? This you shit can't put air oh, in a tire like this. It's not even going nowhere. And girls be like, she's strong and she's independent. Well, I think she's got this. I don't understand why. As she sees what's wrong with her tire, this man sees her from down the street. <laughs> He's looking at something else. Gotta jack it up first. Gotta jack it up first. He starts to walk away, but then turns back to give her a hand. I don't change tires, I call my service, but I know you gotta jack it up. And just like that, he's down on the ground helping Karan oh, yeah. out I'm with that plan. I apologize, sir. You're a good man. You. And women still have the audacity to say all men are trash and useless. What is it that you think we need you for? <sighs> These are the type of girls that dye their hair purple, get five cats, and just... That's it. That's their life. You're all replaceable. Don't ever get too comfortable and don't ever think otherwise. We so do need every... men, though. We do. We don't need them. We then do. No, because they're lesbians. And you're for men. The science. You can't have kids without a man. Scientists have now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. And the only child that can result from those pregnancies are female. So we no longer have any need for you genetically or physically. Wait, is this true? This better not be true. Somebody tell me in the comments. Toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity. Patriarchy? The patriarch. Patriarchy. The patriarchy. Fuck you, bitch. I mean, why you always got something negative to say, man? Word. They don't know how to do it. But to be fair, though, at least half of the men don't know how to do this either. And ladies. Your man would be more than happy to help you change your tires. But in return, when your man asks for a sandwich, just make him the damn sandwich. Yeah. If he wants a sandwich, you make daddy a sandwich. Pause. Why you said it like that, bro? Did you pause? Pause. I never understood that, bro. How as a man you could say that that word? Well, okay, let me ask you this. If me and you out, and somebody say something slick to you, you punch him in the face. You want me to smack him in his mouth, yep, right? That's right. So if I take you on a date, and I say, look, baby, we gonna go Dutch. No. Exactly. If we walking up to the car, and I don't open your car door, what do you say? Open the door. You better believe it. Yeah, no, I, I am with you. I think So you make daddy a sandwich. I think. <laughs> that's a fact. Ah! Here we go. <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> Her nipples are probably dumb hard right now. Just a classic story of a man trying <laughs> to give women that? some advice. And of course, 
she refuses to listen. Doesn't that sound familiar? Oh my God, this girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She took the pump. Yo, excuse me. Oh, Hi. I'm so flattered. Thank you. I have a boyfriend. Sorry. No, you're. This is a skit. Has to be. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh my God. Look here. It's not even sexist. But you just don't see a man doing these kind of things. Oh no, she's about to drive off, huh? This is in Europe somewhere. In Europe, they have like the longer license plates. Silly, silly, silly. Gentlemen, a wise man once said, Life what do you say? is hard. Word. But life is harder when you're stupid. Oh, shit. Did she fart? Excuse me. No, ma'am. I have a boyfriend. Ma'am, listen, I, I was trying to tell you that- Do you not understand? I have a boyfriend. You have a flat tire, and I was gonna help you change your tire. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Actually, could you help me? No, I have a girlfriend. Which makes me think, how on earth do these people survive? Do you have a boyfriend? No. Let's go find you one. Let's no. go. What's your type of guy? Black. This guy? No. Yeah. Hey, yo, 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 yo. He's not even black. Oh, Raider on a scale of 1 to 10. To be honest and fair, I'm a guy. Yo, 2. I don't like. Whoa! What? She's a 2 out of 10. You're the only person who called me a 2 because I'm still cute. Not. <laughs> Jade. How old are you? 25. Where are you from? I'm from South Carolina, but I live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm an eclectic witch. What? Oh. And I read tarot cards. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. I have a website and I do social media and TikTok. Can you define the duties of an eclectic witch? An eclectic witch is somebody who takes, um, <laughs> map. Oh my god! I feel like that's very disrespectful, but that's okay. I practice craft from different cultures. Uh huh. Okay. I do witch. cast spells on people. Oh. But no. I'm a very good witch. Okay, cool. And then, what's your highest education level completed? High school. What's your status? Single, relationship? Single, but this guy's really cute. What's up? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, no. She gonna cast a spell on you. I have nothing bad to say about you. Please leave me alone. What is your ideal type in 2023 as a guy? For how old he is, what he looks like, how much he has to make. Um, definitely tall, brown hair, tan. Definitely like 25. <laughs> how much he has to make a year? Over 500,000. Come on now, dog. We're gonna have to get the delusion calculator out for this one. All right, let's see what we have here. And she said she needed um 25, so we'll give a seven-year gap or so. Tall. We'll go six one just because we already know this is gonna get bad. And the income five hundred thousand. Max this thing out. All right, let's see what we got. Probability. Oh my lord! You don't belong on this planet. Have you ever cheated? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. What did you do? Like, like, what did you do to cheat? What did I do to cheat? I mean, honestly, not. You smashed somebody else while you were dating someone. Not just have cheat, but all of the above. Yeah. How many times? How many times? Yeah, like how many instances did you cheat? Not too many. One is too many. You proud that you cheated? Do you ever get dressed and just be like, damn, I look good? Damn, you look big. I did oh, today. Lord have mercy. Oh my God. Ladies, if you want to feel like, damn, I look good, we know where she's shopping. Link in the description. Yeah, like if you make enough, like yeah, like I'll hang out with you. So what's up? Let me get your number. All right, bet. Okay. Cool. You better hurry up before my. What's your number? <laughs> so Wait. She said you better hurry up before my. Before my. Here. You have a boyfriend. Pick me up. Seven one three. So you have a boyfriend. Yeah, you gave him your number. He's not my boyfriend. Okay. 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 Just a friend. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not... Wow. Oh. This episode of Blind Date. <gasps> 
<laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's just he's the finest guy. Well, what do you do for a living? That's what she does for a living. Suck dick and smoke. Crap. She's a keeper. Basically, what I do is uh, I take I take that money for certain banks and I Wait a minute. set that aside. I don't want to hear about the banks. I thought you were gonna give me some money. We're gonna go go and I was gonna suck your damn. <laughs> okay, so I, anyway, I take the money. So anyway, you're gonna take I the take money, you're gonna put it in my pocket, I'm gonna suck your damn and lick your balls or whatever, and that's gonna be it. That's all it's gonna be about, okay? <laughs> you're counting, Jesus. Don't you wanna get your shit grooved on? Don't you wanna be sucked on and licked on and all this shit? No, I, I know what y'all white boys want, so just give me the damn money, okay? Wow. This, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It can't be ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous if you don't get none of this. Listen, we'll just go on a date, we'll get some dinner, and, you know, we'll try to have dinner? a... Dinner? I don't want to f***ing eat, I want to smoke. And she wants some sausage. She already told you what she wanted. Were you stupid or something? She wants the sausage. The Italian sausage. Give it to her if you want to. Kick her out of the car if you don't. That's what she don't want nothing else. Besides sausage and Benjamin Franklin. You. You my dinner. You oh, the dinner no. I want to do. Wow. This is ridiculous. You gonna fill me up tonight. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord have mercy. I mean, you don't eat food, though? You don't, you're not a normal person? Yeah, I eat food, food but I don't want to eat no food tonight. I want to eat your ass for the night, okay? <gasps> you want to eat my ass? Yeah, I want to eat your ass for the night. <clears throat> you what I want to eat for the night. You all the food I need for right now. What's wrong? Is you gay or something? You don't like or something? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. So what you is, a little bitch or something? Where you going? Will this be on Tinder dates gone wrong or <laughs> Tinder dates gone right? This know. girl is not playing and she's ready for some action. But where did you pick up from? She looks like she doesn't even have access to a phone. What do you think the issue is with dating right now? Ooh. Ooh. Men. Why? Speak on that. She doesn't even Literally know. just men. What about Don't men? Think? Just their pure existence. <sighs> she heard her friend say this and then she heard it on TikTok somewhere. So now she just has taken the idea and made it her own. What could they do better? not exist <laughs> so do you think you could survive with all men absolutely <laughs> how long <laughs> you wouldn't be here without a man probably longer than i would survive with men right you came from the ball you know how to change a tire yeah okay do you know how to fix a drain yeah walk me through it if it's busted you thank just you get the long thank snake you. thing and twirl it in <laughs> that's not a busted drain, that's a clog drain. Oh, then I would just use a different sink. Wow. <laughs> you just proved your point. You just proved your point. There's, Keep going, I'm listening. There's I'm female listening. I'm listening. plumbers. Three percent of plumbers are female, ninety-seven percent are male. Wow. Who do you think taught these plumbers how to plumb? Maybe the other female plumbers that existed before them. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Oh, oh, but, but okay, how much do you weigh? 220. I weigh 210 and I'm six foot four. You broke the first rule. See, you ladies don't mind breaking the rules. The men are visual. The men want women that are fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. And I don't mind being the size of, I'm sorry, you're five foot eight? I'm five foot eight. You're about the size of Emmett Smith or Barry Sanders was. <laughs> A lot of the fans, they really love seeing like the f***ing so like, get like pissed on. Preferably all over my face and in my mouth. You say preferably? It looked really cool on camera. It was like slow motion. He's peeing on me and I'm just like. Do you swallow it? I did because it looked cool. Um, you're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick bitch. They do it because there's money involved. And who the f*** is buying it? <laughs> we Ubered home with this girl from the bar. <laughs> She's gonna kill you. <laughs> you put your head down where you pissed. How drunk do you have to be? I don't know how to do this. I guess I'm just gonna pour it on. Getting uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty bitch. That's <laughs> <Best boy. laughs> why. 
I don't even blame you, brother. She's a pro. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to scroll down, leave a like, and comment, and subscribe. Let's get to 45K.